fist high, can I get a black power? Right fist high, can I get a black power? Right fist high, can I get a black power? It's time to take back the sours. Picture real quick, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So please, the teenager, you know, give him your undivided attention and love and respect. And we're just gonna put y'all hands together for J Rap Brown. J Rap Brown and Bill Cooper. Shut it down, son. with your eyes wide shut, that's why you can spend your entire life in church. And never recognize the science in a Bible verse. See, God's son has been returning every morning, but you're still waiting for Christ to come. Mm. See, you miseducated and uninformed because you get your information from Viacom, but if you knew like I do, you'd be growing food mm. and buying yes. guns. Yes. It's plots being carried out against this you got no knowledge of. Take for instance, Rex 84, authored by Oliver North, engineered to neutralize the law or MK Ultra, that's government sponsored mind control. Right now, the NSA is spying on your private calls, and I bet yes. you didn't know yes. that white folks called it Operation White Coat when they gave syphilis to Mrs. Evers' boys. They uh -huh. monitored the sickness but never gave them medicine to get better from it. They murdered us for research purposes, yes. uh -huh. and we ain't even know it. Uh -huh. And at this very moment, Planned Parenthood is harvesting embryonic organs and holding black market hey. auctions where they exchange dollars for our aborted babies by the park. Hey. You say? Yeah, they agenda is pro-choice because every abortion brings us closer to total destruction and they want us all destroyed. So this is my point. The system is corrupt, it's killing us, it's what they designed it for. That's why they lock us up for selling drugs that they supply to us. Because the war on drugs is the war on us, whether you realize or not, they've already sized us up. They trying to wipe us out before we start rising up because they know we don't take by force the rights that they deprive us of. But this ain't the type of war that can be won by firearms alone. Our ability to adapt and overcome determines if we survive or not. Just open your eyes and watch. They sell us death disguised as fun and we buy it up. Yeah. Smoking our lungs, drinking our cup, turned down for what? Yeah. Yeah. Some of us indulge in prescription drugs, sit lean, pop zany balls. We live by the gun so we die in young and leave our mothers to cover the funeral costs because nobody makes songs about life insurance. Right, 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 right. We spend our money foolishly on jewelry and designer clothes. We put giant rims on foreign cars before we buy our homes. We don't know our work. So we exchange our souls for Christian Louboutins. We label whores, going broke to show the world that we ain't poor. So get niggas Michael Jordans and get the women Michael Kors. We support them, they don't support us. I guess these hoes ain't poor. But that's how it is when you conform to a system you should have overthrown. So if all you want is a pension to retire on, you need to revise your goals. Because expecting your enemies to hire us is ignorance in its highest form. Right. Financial independence is what your survival relies upon. So most of y'all that I'm a boss need to stop. Because it's a big difference from supplying work and providing jobs. You stunting should never be so important that you cause your brother to starve. And I get your point. Because I've heard it all before. In this cold world, this dog eat dog, but let me tell you three things I know. Okay. Even dogs protect their own. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Even a savage uh, raids is young, and every uh, baller has a date in court, so how long can you dodge the laws long gone? Right. Have you given any thought to how you support your family from behind that wall? Uh, you know being man of the house is a burden that should be yours, but you willing to risk it all to leave your baby moms alone to raise your son? Uh, Even though from a boy to a man, this is daddy's job, and what about your baby girl? Uh, right. Who gonna hold her down if daddy gone? Like, uh, would I be wrong? 
If I took advantage of your broken home, turned your daughter to an addict, gave your son a package to pump with, you be cool with your two kids going through the same things that you did? You see what this is doing? Am I getting through here? Is it hitting home? Because before you was a savage thug, you was your mama's baby boy. So before you raise that gun in the direction of someone with a complexion a lot like yours, do you ever question what happens to the family that you're going to take him from? I got questions I need answers for. What good is it to gain the world and lose your soul? Black man, do black lives matter? Or just your own? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do another one. Oh, oh, we going to do another one? Yeah. All right. Come on, come on, come on. 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 All right. Uh, don't ask why black on black crime is so prevalent. Because the answer is evident. We've been robbed of our heritage. Taken hostage from the African continent. Brought here to work the fields and held in bondage for more than 400 years, our inheritance is poverty. We've been divided by Willie Lynch. We still slaves psychologically. We got no knowledge of self. We live in a society where we violently oppress and any comment to the contrary is in line with common sense. But let us not forget to also add to our list that we economically retarded. <laughs> Financially right. inept. Politically unconscious, got no concept of our effect on the gross national product, but got all the latest gossip about Stevie J and Jocelyn. Come on, Get them, bro. <laughs> Unaware of the consequence of America's foreign policy, because watching Olivia Pope and Fitz is the only time we'll follow politics. We vote Democrat. Because our mothers and our fathers did, and since the president had black, we think we got equality. Right. But 60 years has passed since the Civil Rights Act, and we still ain't got no progress yet. Look, we still talking. Right. So we still marching. Right. Jackson and Sharpton are still vultures. We still recovering from Reaganomics. There's still no justice for our martyrs. There's still no economic consequence for politicians on Cape Promises. We still political chunks. Mm. Just like Malcolm said. Mm. So history repeats itself. Trayvon Martin, Emmett Till, Khalid Muhammad, Malcolm X, who so riot and protest, create slogans and hashtags, two weeks later we forget, move to the next, pass and fair, from one bandwagon to the next, still falling for the trap, relying on your oppressor to be fed, so you only get the scraps, you more concerned with Lucius Lyons than you are with Sandra Bland, but won't get up off your ass and build an empire for yourself. So when we riot, they don't care. They know we can't resist the sale. The fact is crystal clear, but we somehow fail to comprehend. They killing us with commerce and boycotts and self-defense. They incarcerate our fathers, addict our mamas to narcotics, emasculate our sons while empowering our daughters. The black families torn apart. They can out for plans and progress. They control us with the music. Use the media to bring washes. They make hustlers our role models. Now we take pride in our destruction. It's no old wives, just baby mamas. On these side, niggas ain't no husbands. We make our profits cushion poison, and our customers is our loved ones. It's ironic and disgusting. My brother's downfall is my coming. Take water to the flank, that's a small time. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, 
uh, I present Brickley Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Brickley Foundation. Um, I'm originally from Flint, Michigan. Shouts out to my man with the Flint hat on. Yeah, Flint town all day, baby. You ain't one up. Yeah. Um, Currently, I live in Toledo, Ohio. I'll be in Detroit in a couple months. I'll um, be moving here. So, um, without further ado, um, I'm kind of nervous right now. My man J Rap just tore it down. I probably should have went and had him come up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, on top of that, the set list that I put together for y'all at home didn't record on the CD. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to kind of um, scramble and put a couple of tracks together that was in my email. Um, and it's not the songs that I've heard. So if I mess up, you know what I'm saying, just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? I got the CDs here with me so y'all can hear the recorded versions, you know what I'm saying, the professional ones. Um, and not the ones off the free one, you know. Um, but other than that, let's jump into it. First thing. Yeah, tree, I need pill. Yeah, said I see everything crystal clear. Yeah, they 